Hi guys, I'm back, this time with 3D Grand Prix on the Amstrad CPC. So my aim here is to race the perfect race. And let's do that by getting the perfect start, getting through the gears quickly. Really important to get in front of this first car and get that all important first place. Oh no, he's back with another video. Ah! I'm pretty sure we're driving a McLaren here. So I'm 45 and I'm still playing Amstrad CPC games. How bloody sad am I? Goodness me, I need to get a life. So this is the Dutch Grand Prix. So let's assert some dominance in this race, not be too greedy. Slower is faster, after all. Let's have some fun, boys. These parts, these corners are a bit tricky here. I just find it easier to go on the outside there and then try and ride the curb a bit. And then as soon as you see them in your wing mirror, just open up into fourth and then slow back down the third. Kind of getting the rev counter uh, in the middle. Well, if you're watching, you're just as sad as me. So there you go, we're all degenerates here. I thought it'd be nice to add a bit of music, uh, so when we Grand Prix Simulator. Making sure to stay nice and tight to the corner there. Not get greedy and try and take it on the outside. It's way too easy to crash in this game. You know, one lap in concentration, you lap, the perfect lap's gone. Another reason why I did this video is because I couldn't find um, 3D Grand Prix on YouTube where somebody had actually gone round the track any of the tracks without crashing so I wanted to put that right Zandvoort uh, isn't the greatest track for overtaking uh, there's not many straights lots of corners so really difficult to overtake just taking my time here into this corner dropping down the gear no rush if you try to rush and uh, sometimes the cars will steer into you or suddenly brake so open up here again try and get maximum speed if you can see on the left hand side there's like a temperature gauge you've got to try and manage that as well and keep that low you've got to take it really steady at this next corner really slow down you will slide up otherwise I always find that bit tricky to judge when the car has just gone past you. You never quite know whether he's going to tip the wheel or not. But then as soon as I see him in the rear view mirror, I'm gone again. If you don't get your gears right, or the braking right, into some of these corners, you just start to skid off and veer off to the side of the road, and there's nothing you can do. There's no amount of braking or alternate turning or this, that and the other. It's you are sliding off into the grass, so you've got to get it right into the turn. I read the other day that Zandvoort is back on the F1 calendar for next year, so um, wow. I say wow because the track in real life is a bit mediocre, it's really difficult to overtake, um, so you know, you like a blooming traffic jam. The program's got it right though, there's not many places to overtake and as you can see the track layout is pretty authentic, especially for the time. Um, so it's a bloody good game. It's a shame you can't tell how fast you're going and there's only four gears. And it would have been nice if you could have selected other cars, you've just got the one car and you're stuck with that. Blast up here, you can take this corner flat out. But I don't like to do that if the car's in front of me or, on the, or, or on slightly on the outside. So I just slow slightly there. As soon as you hear those tyres squealing, um, obviously the louder, the louder the squeal gets, and you've got to brake, you've got to either drop gear or brake. Um, you can squeal into a corner and, and, and get through most, but uh, it's a bit tricky. You can just go off and slide. You can't really ask for more 
from a game that was made in 1984 or 1985. Um, it's got everything really for that time. It's a real good challenge. Um, you know, you can see that the speed of the thing is really good. Um, I mean, I'm taking my time a little bit, but um, the aim there is to beat that high score uh, and finish first. But it's a, it's a bloody good game, and some of the other tracks are really... Uh, I mean, Silverstone's in there, Brands Hatch. Uh, as a British uh, F1 fan, you made. I mean, this looks a lot easier than it actually is. Um, you know, if you're thinking it's easy, have a go and see if you can get around without having a, a shunt or skidding off. It's bloody vicious, and that's why I like it. Um, like I say, the track's authentic. All the turns are there. What you can't see is the dips and going uphill and going downhill. Um, there are some games like Lotus Turbo uh, Esprit Challenge uh, on the Amiga and the Amstrad and the Speccy and the 64 where it did try to simulate the hills going up and down um, but obviously at the time they never thought of that. Just nicely through this corner here, get to the inside and then try and open up a bit. Oh, it's a bit nearly, ooh, nearly hit that sign there and then drop the gear down. Again, that corner there you can take a full pelt. I'm just uh, I'm just not confident. And then again, two cars there on screen. Later on, you get a couple more cars on screen as well. So, it does get a lot more difficult. Just come out of this corner here on the outside. drop again and slow down for this one not get too close to its grill he's all over the place this, this guy not sure what he's going to do but to the inside watch him there watch him there we go it's nicely riding on the so much. Played it all the time as a kid. And just stay on the outside. Normally in real life you'd probably be on the inside there. But um, I don't know if I ever took him then or he got in front of me. Oh, I love the big bulbous graphics of the cars as they come up to you. Yeah, they're a bit blocky. But if uh, you get close enough, you can see the Amsoft logo on, on the back. I don't want to get too close there. We're nearly home, We're nearly home. I think three more corners. nice and easy now just got to get that score try and get that score so I'm trying to overtake him if I can come on come on come on get in here be a little bit more aggressive come on don't crash don't crash come on come on come on I think we're going to get that score. I just hate this corner. Anything can happen in this corner. No matter how much you practice, you can skid off or you collide into that car. Come on, this is it. There you go, you can see the Amsoft logo in the back of that car. That's pretty impressive. Oh, 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 come on. Get on the curb. Well, if you've enjoyed this, let me know. I can do Silverstone next. There we go. We've got to... We need this. We need this position. 
Oh no, we've got it, we've got the score. If we can overtake as well, oh wicked, that's fantastic. There we go, course completed, the perfect race. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, please comment as well. Bye.